It's Tuesday morning here on the floor of the New York Stock Exchange, and I am pleased to be standing with none other than CEO of QMX Gold Corporation, Mr. Francois Perron. Mr. Francois Perron, pleasure to meet you. Welcome to the New York Stock Exchange, and how does it feel to be here right now? I'm pretty excited. It's my first time here on the exchange. Nice to be here on a green day, and uh, I'm impressed. Okay, I know everything's, a lot of it's going through electronic systems, but uh, seems to be going exciting. Okay. Well, it's, you are the CEO of QMX Gold Corporation, and you are an established mining company in Canada, as well as a company listed at the Toronto Stock Exchange. However, for those that are unfamiliar with yourself and your company, can you give them a brief description as to what it is you do? Basically, we're a gold mining company. We have a, an operation in Val d'Or that's a small scale, about 20,000 ounces a year, and we're starting up a project in Manitoba for that's going to the plan is to get that to 80,000 ounces a year. That would give us a total production of about 100,000. That's the near-term stuff, and longer term, I'll stay tuned. I got more ideas. Okay. Well, we just last week turned the page on the first quarter. The second quarter is coming up, and you touched on it a little bit, but there has to be a little bit more. Is there anything that you have goal-oriented, anything that you can share with us in terms of the short-term and the near-term, and maybe even any plans to come here and list at the New York Stock Exchange? Yeah, the listing's going to take a while. We'll get a bit bigger before we do that. I think that the most important thing for me right now is short term is to meet the short term guidance I provided for the existing operation. That's 20 to 23,000 ounces a year at a cash cost of 12 to 1400 per ounce. Okay, and then over the next year or two, get the financing and the project built in Manitoba. And then I'm going to be looking for some organic growth through some either some or some acquisitions that can leverage the existing asset base. And the, the strategy there is to use a look at scale of assets that other big companies are not looking at because they're too small, so that I can get those on a cheaper basis instead of competing with the big guys, consolidate the smaller space, even if I have to roll up my sleeves and work harder at it. That's the deal. All right. Thank you very much for your time and the best of luck to you, sir. Thank you very much.